Hey everyone, in this video we'll be learning about .NET MAUI shadow view. So this view can be attached to any of the controls like frames, buttons, labels, anything as you like. Here I'll be creating a blank .NET MAUI project. Here you can see like this. And we'll be uh, removing all the initial source code from the UI that is our main page.xaml to start integrating this uh, .NET MAUI box view. Uh, with this shadow so here I'm just uh, going to the main page where I'll just run our first .NET MAUI application that is uh, exposed on my right so here I'll just give the title of the project as shadow example then uh, let's try to create a box view and uh, inside the box view we can attach the shadow view too so here let's add the color of the box view uh, to cornflower blue then now let's try to play around with the box view properties that is our vertical option to center you can just play around with those values of your own and uh, here i'll just put the box view to center horizontal option as uh, also to center uh, then uh, uh, let's try to play around with more controls uh, but before that let's try to restart the application because we really want the box view uh, to be centered at uh, vertical uh, position and horizontally also as centered and I'll just provide the height of the box view to 150 let's try to restart the application and then see uh, we are getting as expected output or not so it will take some time to reload the whole application so here you can see the height request is uh, 150 and uh, let's try to give the uh, uh, width request to that is our 200 so you can see now something is uh, happening on our ui uh, that is on my right so like uh, here i'll just put the box view to center and expand and you can see uh, the resulting output so height request is also one, uh, 150 probably and it will just give me this type of box now we can just play around with the shadow view inside our box view so here i'll just add the shadow and uh, then inside the shadow we can just play around with uh, what type of color of the shadow to be uh, there inside the box view so here we have shadow initialization and uh, here we'll just give the brush color as red so you can see the red uh, color has been exposed to the uh, box view so now uh, we can just play around with the offset that is from x-axis and the y-axis here you can see the 10 is from x-axis and uh, another 10 is from the y-axis and we can just play around with the opacity of uh, box view to 0.6 so that we can just see uh, some good looking uh, box view with the shadow so you can just play around with those values so this is the x-axis so here we can see i've just uh, uh, made a offset of 20 so that it can be exposed to the uh, little bit of uh, to my right so here uh, let's try to put a real shadow that is our gray shadow to my right then uh, a little bit more to the x-axis so you can just uh, get around with those values and uh, uh, let me know uh, like if you are stuck and on anywhere else and here we can just play around with the current radius of the box view too so our uh, shadow won't be uh, curved uh, for sure uh, on our background you can see uh, the uh, resulting output on my right so here you can see i've just played around with those uh, corner radius but it is not uh, doing as expected output that is our shadow also to be cut so anyway uh, that's just a bug on the dot net maui so let's get around with the corner radius to five so that it looks a little bit good that's all for this tutorial now thank you guys thanks for watching keep in touch for our next tutorials